Hi, I'm Tiffany Krieger with Encompassing Education, and I'm here today to talk about a few quick tips for taking care of test anxiety in our students or adults who happen to be big warriors and are having a hard time uh, during this testing season. So we know that emotions are innocent. They're just data points that are letting our body know what we need, but sometimes those emotions, those data points get stuck and we need something to help us work through it. We need us something to help us literally kind of shake it off. So two of my favorite strategies for getting unstuck or moving through big worries are um, expressive meditation and a journaling activity. So first let's talk about this expressive meditation, essentially movement while we're focused on the body. So you wanna integrate some breath or just awareness into that type of movement. My favorite, and it's rooted in ancient medicine and works phenomenally for me and a lot of other people, but it's shaking and dancing. Now, if you have some younger kids or older, you like uh, go noodle or things like that, you can find some great shaking videos on there to follow along with, um, or you can just play some music yourself. You want to start, if you're going to do the shaking part, with something rhythmic and just instrumental. So like, drumming would be great. If you want to go all in, you can close your eyes and you're just going to start shaking and listening to your body. Let it shake how it wants to move from your feet, up your legs, all the way up until you're just letting your body shake. Then you're going to pause, take a few big deep breaths, and then play a song that you love or that your students love. It's just going to let them kind of move and dance. Now, we aren't being choreographed in this dance, this dancing session. We're just letting our body move the way it wants to move. And I, I encourage you to try that out. Try it when it's not a testing day. See if it makes a difference for some kids. And if it does, then you'll have that in your pocket for when you see somebody having a tough time. That's really going to help them get that worry out of their heads. So they're better able to concentrate, better able to be in that moment and just to feel better and perform better. And that's what we want, right? So the second strategy that I want to talk about that's going to help us or our students get unstuck is a journaling activity where we journal with our feeling. So we're going to possibly even name our feeling. Let's say we want to talk to our worry. We might even draw it. Maybe we have a worry monster. Maybe we don't like the way he looks, or maybe we just want to give it a name. Maybe we're going to call it Wanda. I don't know. Wanda the worry monster. And we're going to just write a dialogue and have a conversation. So I might say, worry monster, why are you here? I don't want you in my head. And the worry monster is going to talk back to me. And we're going to go back and forth in this little written exercise. It's great for adults um, all the way down. It's just having this back and forth. And it's going to help help us understand that we aren't our worries, that we are separate. And then we can get that monster out of there. And we can say, that is my worry monster talking to me. That's not me. They'll be there later if I need to chat, but I don't need you here right now during testing time. So again, give this one a try on just a regular day. Pick a feeling that you have or remember having during a difficult time and just have a conversation. You want to give them about, um, well, I guess depending on their age, but a good amount of time so to write back and forth. And we're just writing first thought, best thought, and then we're going to have some time for reflection. Did we learn anything from that dialogue? Do we understand how we are separate from our feeling? And how can we, how can we move through it instead of feeling stuck in that moment? So expressive meditation and a journaling activity that I hope will help you or your warriors in your classroom. And I hope you have an awesome day. Thanks so much.